Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. My name is Victor and my study looked at assessment of single and double interface shear strength properties of municipal solid waste landfill lining components. Municipal solid waste landfills have a purpose of preventing intermixing between the solid waste and leachate against groundwater and surface water resources. When constructing the modern landfill structure, the basal lining system usually constitutes of several lining components, including compacted soil layers and geosynthetics, which are prone to shear failure. The proposed basal lining system used in this study was that of Musenberg Municipal Solid Waste Landfill in Cape Town, and it included several compacted soil layers, leachate collection stone, and geosynthetics. The materials used included geotextiles, geomembranes, caspated drains, leachate collection stone, and two soil layers. In the laboratory, when assessing interface shear strength properties of these materials, we normally conduct single interfaces. Single interface configurations include soil geosynthetic or geosynthetic geosynthetic. However, conducting single interfaces could have compromisation on resources, budget and time, especially when a multi-layered lining system has been proposed. Hence, this study conducted slightly modified the testing configuration to double interfaces to assess the differences and similarities in the shear strength properties. The testing conditions were kept similar, material properties were also kept similar, however the proposed line arrangement was slightly modified in the large direct shear device to, add, to assess the differences and similarities. In terms of the results, critical, critical or weakest interface was found to be similar for both testing configurations. The peak and large displacement shear, shear strength properties of the weakest or critical interface were also found to be within the 5% mark. In terms of design application, the fact, minimum factors of safety assessment revealed that 1.01 .01 was for single interface and 1.17 was obtained for double interface configuration. This indicates that the double interface configuration could slightly produce higher friction, higher factors of safety, and this could have implications on your design. In terms of critical con conclusions drawn from this study, the double interface configuration conducted using geomaterials, i.e. soil geosynthetic soil, produced high friction properties. And those conducted using geosynthetics only, i.e. geosynthetic, geosynthetic, geosynthetic configuration, produced shear strength properties which were similar as those of single interface configuration. Thank you for paying attention to my presentation. And in case you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact